This is Cam from Pierce Park Sailing Center here with another episode of Ocean Science After School. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own compass. Before we start the activity, I'm going to give you a little background on compasses and why they're so important. Compasses are used for navigation. They've been used for over a thousand years. Back before we had GPS's and Google Maps, people would use a compass to find their directions. Even though we have a lot of newer technology right now, it's still good to know how to use a compass. If you are out on a boat in the open ocean and your GPS died, or if you're on a camping trip in the woods and your phone dies, there's nowhere to charge it. But with a compass, you don't have to worry about that. They're a lot more reliable and simple than most modern technology. As long as you have a map and a compass, it'll be pretty easy to get from point A to point B. We can use a compass to find the cardinal directions, which are north, south, east, and west. Compasses contain a magnetic needle which will always point to the north. This works because at the north and south pole, there are magnetic fields that are able to attract the magnetic needle of the compass. All right, so now that you know how compasses work, we're gonna try making our own. All right, so before we can start this experiment, we're gonna wanna gather the materials that we need. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna get is a plastic container with some water in it. You're also gonna need a magnet. The next thing that we want is a sewing needle. And lastly, a cork. And then you can cut the cork so that it's small like this. If you don't have a cork, that's okay. You can also use a piece of wax paper. You just wanna make sure that it's strong enough to be able to support the weight of the needle while still floating in the water. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is magnetize our needle. To do that, you're gonna take one side of the magnet and one side of the needle and rub it about 20 times. If your magnet isn't that strong, you might have to do it more than 20 times. After that, you're gonna take the other side of the magnet and the other side of the needle and do the same thing. Now we've taken the north and south pole from the magnet and created a north and south pole on the needle. By doing this, we're gonna make our north end of the needle point towards the Earth's north pole. Now that we have our magnetized needle, we're gonna stick that through the cork. And if you're having a hard time doing this, you can use pliers to help you push it through. Once you have the needle through the cork, it should look like this. Now we're going to stick this into the container of water. You can see that as soon as it touches the water, it's starting to rotate. This end should be pointing to the north, but to make sure that it's right, we're gonna use an actual compass. And you can see this red line is pointing towards the north, and it's the same way that our compass is pointing. I'm going to put a piece of tape on the north end just so that you can tell which side is north. So you can see that no matter how I place it in the water, the north side will always match up with this compass. Notice how our compass only tells us which way is north, while the other compass has all four directions. That's not a problem, because as long as we know which way is north, we can figure out the other three. You can remember the order by the phrase, never eat soggy waffles. So I'm going to put this paper here. So if you want to try this at home with a paper under it, you can rotate the paper so that north is facing the same direction as the north on our compass. So no matter where you are in the world, making a simple compass like this will help you to find magnetic north so that you can always find your way home. I hope you enjoyed making your own compass today. Once again, my name is Cam, and be sure to check out piersparksailing.org slash OSAS for more activities.